So friends, welcome to the course Words to Use instead of Very. This again is a revision session. We'll be discussing 15 words today. So let's start. I'm Amitha Devrajan, a student of English literature from Delhi University. I'm passionate about teaching language and literature. You can follow me on Unacademy at this given URL. And don't forget to provide me with your feedback by rating, reviewing, recommending and sharing my videos. Please drop in your score at the end of the quiz session. I'm really excited to see your response. Okay, so let's start with a set of words which we have to cover today in the revision session. The first word is very creative. I don't think we've discussed this word in our... Uh, in the sessions we have covered so very creative basically means innovative when you're very creative about something when you use your imagination to you know build something uh, really nice something exceptional uh, innovation innovation again means when you create uh, with an idea with a creative idea you create something really useful so the synonym for very creative is innovative and also imaginative because it's because of the imagination that you're putting into you putting your imagination into use and then you're bringing it to use so the word for very creative is imaginative and innovative and the antonym is uninventive why is it uninventive because it is because of your imagination that you're creating something useful that your innovation your innovation comes into picture but when are you uninvent uninvent when you're not creative you're not able to invent something out of your own that is what uninventive means very crowded is bustling. I've discussed this word. Bustling, I even mentioned the example of Saroni Nagar market. Those living in Delhi would probably relate with this because it's a bustling market. It's a very crowded market. So you can use the word crowd, bustling instead of very crowded. You can also use the word brim. You can, for example, if I say the glass was brimming with water. So here I mean it was too, it was overflowing with water. So that is what uh, is meant with brim. You can also use it in context of crowd. Uh, the antonym is stillness. Obviously, the dead opposite of stillness is uh, crowded. The next word is very depressed. And the word for this is despondent. But this is a heavy word. And depression itself is a very heavy word. And it's, it's, it's used in the context of mental problems also. So, please use it wisely. Just don't say, I'm very depressed. You're sad, not depressed. Depressed has a heavy context. And when you're saying very depressed, you become despondent. Which again is a very heavy word despondent and despairing despairing is when you've lost hope so again these are very sad and uh, and these words have a very heavy meaning and intensity associated with it and the antonym for this could be ecstatic when you're depressed you're sad and ecstasy and ecstatic means when you're extremely happy and you're and you're overjoyed uh, the next word is very dear and the synonym for this could be cherished or adore. You adore someone you love and who's dear to you and you cherish the people who are close to you. So that is what this means and the antonym for this could be abhor. Abhor is pure hatred. So you see it's the dead opposite of this. Very deep is profound. We re recently discussed this word and uh, profound is when you have a deep interest in something or some field and erudite is someone who gains knowledge by reading a lot. So you can use the word prof the synonym for profound is erudite, but not for the word very deep. So profound is again when you have a keen interest in certain areas. You can be a profound, you can have pro profound interest in music, profound interest in dance, profound interest in chemistry, physics, and so on. The the antonym, the direct antonym of deep is shallow. You may have shallow interest in something as well. This word is not just restricted to shallow depth of water or shallowness. It can also be associated with shallow interest. Moving on, very detailed is meticulous. When you provide a very detailed, a very minor, you provide minor details of something, you're being meticulous, you're being very, very factual about everything. You're providing every minute detail which is there. Synonym is elaborate. When you're elaborating on everything which comes across, and the antonym is brief. Obviously, when you're giving a detailed expression, that dead opposite of that is when you're, you know, restricting yourself to lesser words and you're giving a brief account of something. The next word is very different or disparate. The word for the very different is disparate or distinctive. Distinctive means alag alag hona, ek alag distinct feature hona, alag ek bahut hi alag anokha cheez hona. So the word disparate and distinctive for very different. And the antonym is identical. Different. Difference is basically jab alag -alag hote hai. identical is similar. Hona. Very difficult is arduous and challenging when something is not easy to accomplish or do. And the antonym for this could be effortless when something is really easy to use. That is effortless and arduous, very difficult and challenging basically means something which is 
very difficult to do or perform. Well, the word very dry, arid and dreary mean something which is very dry, parched, which has which has a lack of water, which lacks humidity. It's very dry. You know the meaning of dry. And instead of very dry, please use the word arid or dreary. Both mean the same. Both have good meaning associated to it. And it's expressive and descriptive. Use these words to add meaning to your sentence. And the antonym for this could be drenched. Drenched means when you're drenched in water, when you're soaked in water. So it's the dead opposite of dry. And very easy is effortless. Well, the dead opposite of difficult was effortless. And now the dead opposite of uh, very easy is burdensome, which is difficult. So you got another synonym for difficult, which is burdensome. When you, It's so difficult that you consider it as a burden. Well, the word for very easy is effortless. When you do not really require effort to do it, it's so easy that you can just do it like that. And facile, which again means very easy. Moving on to the next set of words, very empty is desolate or hollow. Hollow is the put under ni hota hai, khali hota hai, hollow bolte hai. And desolate means the same, but it has a, you know, it has gravity attached to it. And synonym is complete. Obviously, when something is empty, it, empty, it has nothing. And complete is sab bhara hua hota hai. Very dull is tedious or monotonous. Monotonous basically means when you, when you're so boring and droning yourself, you're being repetitive. And you are, you know, in a, in a sense, you are, you are just being repetitive and boring and tedious. You're being dull. That's what monotonous is. And tedious again means when you're tired of hearing the same thing again and again. And you're tired and you're just, you're just very sick of everything. And you're tired as hell. So dull, tedious, the word, instead of very dull, you can use the word tedious or monotonous. Monotonous is more, you know, used in recurring. When you're, you're terming something as recurring or repeating, you use the word monotonous. The antonym for this could be astounding. That means very surprising and captivating. The next word is very excited. The, the substitute for this could be thrilled or pumped up. Well, excited means when you're full of uh, enthusiasm about towards something. And the substitute could be thrilled or pumped up. And the antonym could be jade. Jade basically is when you're all tired again and you have no excitement and you're just blankly looking looking at something. And very exciting is exhilarating. I've mentioned the difference between these two words earlier. Exhilarating, which means you're very exciting. Something which is very exciting. For example, you may say that I'm going to enroll myself into a new course, which is really exhilarating. And I'm going to go to this adventure park. That is with the, the idea of going to an adventure park is exhilarating. So this word is used in that context. Mm, well, the word, the synonym for this could be galvanized. Well, galvanized is to make someone feel excited. If I'm excited about going to an amusement park, I keep on saying the other person, yay, amusement park, amusement park. In that sense, I'm galvanizing him. I'm causing him to be excited with me. Right. So that is how this word is used. A minor difference, but it could be used interchangeably. Well, the antonym is demoralized. When you're excited about something, you're all pumped up. But you're demoralized when you do not have such feeling. Very expensive is costly or premium. You often see that, you know, for the premium version, please click here and pay the money. So premium is being costly and inexpensive is cheap. So it's the dead opposite of expensive. So instead of the word very expensive, use the word costly. Let's move on to the final segment. That is the vocabulary session. Uh, I mean the quiz. So match the following. Please pause the video. Well, I hope you're done. Let's discuss this. Very difficult is arduous. Very empty is desolate. Very detailed is meticulous. Very depressed is despondent. And very easy is effortless. So guys, we come towards the end of the session here. Thank you. Have a nice day. And drop in your scores. Please don't forget that. Thank you.